What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. We are here in the Shaded Woods as we are. Um, at the end of the last episode, if you guys recall, we got here at the end of the episode. I sat here for like, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, and somebody invaded me when I was doing some uh, editing and stuff. And uh, I was like, oh no, he's a douche. But in actuality, they gave me whatever the hell this is. I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That was nice of them. Um, but yes, we roleplay as our character, Squash and Thorpe, and we will go right back into roleplaying him as such. So enjoy. Well, uh, what's this then? Shop. Take that. You won't stop me. Ew. Wonderful. Hello? Hello, old man. Are you stuck? Oh, hopefully I can help you out. Hmm. How many branches of yours do I have? The answer may surprise you, but I only have one. <clears throat> Therefore, we shall wait. I'll help you one day, Mr. Lion. Assuming I survive. Hopefully, um, this place isn't too rough. This place is quite dark and dank. Hello? Seems safe. It's safe. Ah! Sh mm. Worthless. Anything else? Yes? No? Perhaps not? What on the hell was that? It felt like it was sucking me soul away. That's not good. What's up here? Was it that little urn? Disgusting. You're not fooling anybody. I've learned to your wise tricks. A chunk. I need chunks for my sword. Hmm. Which route to take? Hmm. All of them seem so uninviting. Hmm. I want in there. But I can't really get in there now, can I? Hello? Hello, you bastard! Goodbye. A flaming butterfly! For me! I like that. Hmm. I hear much laughter, however, I'm not very much laughing now, am I? You stupid urn! <laughs> That's not fair! My freaking soul is being sucked away and I can't do a damn thing about it! That's not very nice. Hello? Oh, the lion! There are lions here! That are alive at that. Ow! Alright, we can uh, stop that. <clears throat> Hold on. Gem of life. What you don't have. Rude and unkind. However, I do like that you give me stuff. Stuff is nice. Reduce following damage. I like that as well. Hmm. You lions breathe quite loudly, you know. Waha! Darn it. That was my ploy, my tactic. And there's a gold one as well. Hmm. What's the purpose of these lions? 
Ooh, a ferrous lock stone. I like that hand as well. Punchy. And punchy. And for good measure, punchy. Hello, green lion. And weep. It sucks to suck, don't it? No need to flip your shield about it. Come on then, you lion. Oh, you're stronger. The lion great eyes. How great? Is it good? Hmm, sort of. Visions are pointless. You can say that again. The way of a grit. Treasure here, but item required ahead. This one's a regret though, so maybe it's not wise to do that one. I don't really want to do the ones that are gonna damn us. Come on now, you see-through man. I don't know what to call you. Come on. Gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha. Foolish. Whip. You're alive. Die. Whip. You fly very good. What? That's not fair. Oh. I'm glad you went in there, not me, I suppose. I suppose that's a good thing. Did you die? Hope you died. Did you die down there? I think he's alive. Alive and well. What's this? Pointless. I mean, if, I suppose if that's what you say it is, then I believe you. Dark spirit? I don't like that. Up, up, up to the top. He's not a dark spirit, that's a man. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Mr. Butterfly? Who are you? Hello. I, I remember you. Don't you scare me like that. I thought you were him. Who? That bastard with a ring lives in Brightstone Cove down the way. I'm going to find him and settle the school. Nobody insults me like that. What? What would he do? For the good of the world and for my own honor. I won't let that bastard live another day. <laughs> um, alright, if he's if he is a bastard then I suppose he does deserve to die. For the good of the world, I won't let that bastard live another day. Well, that's nice, but I'm gonna be off then. A kind individual. They say dark spirit. Did you make it out alive? Come on now! I knew it! You are the same one! How did you get out of that hole? That means there is a way out of the hole. What? Damn basilisk! Oh, that's not good. And... Rude and unkind! Stop that! I said stop! Uh, Chip of life! Now you're shooting me with a crossbow! You die! Are you the one that's alive? Now you're a different soul. Alright! I suppose that's what must be done.
There's a chest in there. I don't know what you want to do. Hello, what do we have here? Hm. Hey, old man, it's you. I told you I find you. Helming so mass. Hello. Ah, look how far this undead has wandered. Thank you. And a very fit undead you are. Um, thank you. To alive, but with a darkish shadow. Yet still unprepared for a deeper dark. And like every undead, you have no future. Well, that's not very nice. Oh my, don't mind me. I'm just talking amongst myself. But if you find the need for a truer dark, then meet again. We shall. Um, I don't know about that. I kind of assumed you were going to be a nice person, but apparently you're not. Or you are, and you just like dark things. Which I suppose is fine. The dark is still nascent within you. May the dark shine your way. Um, I don't think the dark does that. The dark. Hmm. More basilisks. Nasty little creatures. That shit doesn't look good. Ow, it's rank! And it hurt. You fuck. Get out of here. Thank you for the raw stone, though. I do much appreciate that. Look at the skeletons! I dare not touch it. Anything else? Oh, indeed. Twinkling Titanite. It's locked. There's a person underneath the other side. Hmm. Hopefully we find the key. That would be ideal. And it leads back to the beginning. So far, this place isn't so bad. I'm a little concerned about using a fragrant branch of yore on the wrong one. Hmm. What if I keep up here? Yeah. Oh, I see. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, I don't have arrows. Thought I did. There we are. Perfect. Doesn't really fit me though. I hear something. Rude and unkind. Take that. No, that's not going to stop me. Nice try, though. Mm, a lockstone of the Pharaoh's variety. Do I have a particular ring? I do. I hear shinies. Damn it! There we are. Mm. Oh, 
There's more stuff over there. A dark scythe. Is that what he meant by dark? Hello. How about thou? What would you say? There we are. Human, are we? Indeed. This is no place for you. Be gone. Well, I'm still gonna be here. I kinda have to go this way. Are you not afraid of me? No. Humans rarely come here. Those who do turn back when they see me. Or make an attempt on my life. But you are different. Thank you. You kind of actually seem a bit depressed, so I assume that you want to talk. We once had a master. He created us long, long ago. But he was born with a fatal flaw. He resented those who had what he lacked and became fully mired in hatred. Yeah, that's not good. Eventually, he drove himself mad. It was at the peak of this madness that he conjured up we strange creatures. Our oh, master was a tragically lonely soul. Eventually, his solitude eroded his very reason. <laughs> In the end, he never understood what it was that he truly lacked. Nobody knows when we were born. Or where our master has gone. The only ones who even speak a human tongue are myself and my better half. Your better half? Was he or she? I wish to ask a favor of you. I want you to kill my betrothed. Because? Once, I always found her at my side. But as time went on, things went awry. She became violent, raging uncontrollably. Oh, she was crazy. Eventually, she came after me. We have been locked in combat ever since. Sure, I'll help you. Where is she? We seem to be at a standstill. The wounds we exchange are never lethal. I was born of my master's madness. Perhaps this is some curse. I will be sure hmm. to assist you in return. All right. Well, I wait thee. The past is a distant fog. My name was Tark. Tark. That is all that I remember. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll help you out. I mean, it looks like you kind of need a bit of help. I don't know how you're going to get out of this little hole unless you plan to dig your way there. The past is a distant fog. Right. My name was Tark. Uh huh. Your name was Tark. That's all you remember. We shall use it here. Come on, then. Oh, you hit hard. Hello? <gasps> Is that Vengal? Vengal, you crazy mad lad. Stop that. Tell you to stop. Goodbye. Mm, it is a Vengaru. How good is your stuff? I know your helmet's good. Hmm, it's pretty good. That's worse. And your pants also worse. However, at least chest piece is better, and it looks nice. A torch. For the torchless. Hello. 
statue blocks my way. Scheiße. Well, is there anything else in this direction? Or well, not really? Not really. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I can go. Yep. Probably should have took off some stuff. This is gonna hurt so bad. Hello, Vengaro. I have done what you asked. Back again. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Well, um... Ah, it was you who vanquished my body. That's right. It is my body, you see, and I can sense what happens to it. I do not mourn for it. Good riddance. If you wish for help, summon me. I'm rusty in battle, but we'll fight by your side. Well, that sounds like a good plan. I cannot lie. Sometimes I wonder what's become of the kingdom. I was a hired hand, yes, but we soldiers stared death in the eye together. And for his highness, I am afraid. But perhaps it's for the best. We knew not what we fought for. I was born in Feroza, Salan. When I was born, I think we you said this already, yes? Conflict with our neighbors. Eventually, our kingdom fell. Our people scattered. It's been a cell sword ever since. Ah. All I ever knew was war. What a fool I was. I am grateful for these peaceful days, but such contentment. Why must I I'm pretty sure you already said all this. Sometimes as I wonder. That's right, you did. Goodbye. Right. This way. The murmurs of the trees. They speak to me. And I don't understand. I just keep walking off and hope for the best. I suppose I could jump that way. There we are. I have gotten around you, lion. I'll see what's over here. Hmm. What? What are you doing here? Not for that. Nope. Sorry. Goodbye. What hidden treasure were you hiding? Ooh, so you were, so you were. Sublime bone dust. Like that. Now here's the next question. How do I get back? I suppose through here. Shop! Mmm! Hmm. Treasure! A black knight's halberd. Well, not something I really desire, but I'll take it. Ah. Where am I? Ah, here. That makes sense, I suppose. Let's go help Tark with his betrothed, I suppose. That's the only thing left, I think. At least I think there is. Only that left. Could be wrong. Of course, there's the lines that are enamored with uh, stone. Terrible business that is. Well, it's this way. Hello, Bradley of the Old Guard. I shall attempt to have you at thy side. There's a butterfly up there. Look at that! What's the purpose of it being there? Well, it's dead now. Do not have anything worthwhile? Not really. Hello, Bradley. We are going on an adventure together. 
And we shall go in this direction. Hopefully you're capable in combat. If you're not, I don't know why I'm bringing you in the first place. <laughs> this is Tark. Oh, indeed. Now, there is a man scorpion that goes by the name of Tark. Don't be alarmed. He's a very kind soul. Hello, Tark. You ready to take out your betrothed? I hope so. She's in here, right? Right. Alright. Hello? Oh, she's so short, Tark. What are you worried about? Oh, shit. Tark, she's... She's rude. You go after her, Tark. I can't be bothered with her. She seems very nice. Well, I mean, if you want to do that, I suppose, then have at it. Where's she go? Oh, you betrayed her as a scorpion. I suppose that makes sense. Hey, that's not good. That looks like it will hurt. Oh shit, you looking at me? I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Lady. <laughs> Die. Rude. You hit me with your leg. <laughs> and you are your tail. Zippy! There we are! Oh, good. Demo attack! We shall have at her! Oh, shit! That's probably not good. Good luck trying to get me here. Um, be careful! Oh, she's after me. Goodbye. Thank you, Bradley. You are very helpful. Tark, I'm gonna go see you in a moment. I'll go meet back up with you. <laughs> Hopefully you're still there. If you're not, then that won't be good. Oh. At least I hope you're still there. It wouldn't make more sense if you suddenly left. <laughs> Man, this stuff is heavy. It's like I'm weighing a thousand pounds. Or more like 70.7 .7 pounds to be exact. Talk? Talk? Hmm, he's not here. I kind of assumed he would be here. You're gone. Well, goodbye, Tark. I hope you find peace. He's all gone. Well, I hope he did find peace. He did seem rather distraught. When we talked about her beloved. But now I suppose we go this way. In this direction. It's quite dark down here. It leads to a tunnel. A cave. A mansion. I know not. This place is so dark. I don't like the dark. Oh, there's... Doors of Pharos. Oh, so this is the place where Pharos owns it. Well, this is a mine. I should have respect to that, I suppose. Hello, Elefante. Oh, your Elefante does not seem very kind. You got the mine, I suppose. Probably. 
stop. Thank you. Sorry that I had to come to that, but you know how it is. Cave ahead and shot for off a bonfire. Hello. It's a dwarf. Are you related to Gavlan? Gavlan was a cool kind of sort. You don't seem like you're very, um... Oh, you don't just look very nice at all. Ow! No, 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 no. Stop that. I have your hammer now. It's mine. I take it for myself. That's what you get for trying to interrupt my status. I'm trying to. Ew. Well, my sword doesn't exactly fit. There we are. Perfect. That's a rat head. That's different. Let's go back to Majula. Probably should level up my sword. My soul needs some strengthening. Hello. I've done what you asked. I oh, need more chunks. However, I can level up this. That does sound lovely. Hmm. Hmm. Currently same. Oh, and it weighs less as well. I should take up the land of dwarf because it's better. That's why. Now I can wear heavier things. Well, that's different. Ugh. I didn't know for much like that. I guess it makes sense. Ugh. How's this work? Two handed. Right. Yeah, I was expecting that. And if I do the spin... Yep, it's a spin, like I thought. Alright. Well, that works, I suppose. Can I wear anything else? The answer is nay. Well, at least I have a better hammer. It does more. But the lady is not here. It's the, the lady with the pyromancy, she did not arrive to Majula. Did I not give her the required clothes? I suppose I didn't. Hmm. Well then. I'm seeking my less. Do I have a shard? I do not. Vitality. Thank you. And I strengthen thy Estus flask. Thank you. What a kind soul. Goodbye. Now let's go see about the lady. The lady is not here, therefore she must be still over here. I kind of assumed she would have left already. Hmm. I mean, I didn't give her a helmet. I suppose I should have. I gave her everything else for clothes. Is the man with the big blue sword still here? You are. Why are you still here? Um... And you're here. Why are you guys here? What? Clearing the way was you doing, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think you had it in your pal. Rude. No, no, no. That's not like it sounds, you know. It was a pleasant surprise, that's all. Uh-huh. You know, I heard your Name's sword's fake. Out. Thanks to you, I can resume my journey. Great. If we share the same path, 
I'm sure that we are going to meet again. Probably not. I'll repay my debt to you in battle. I swear it by my sword. That's great. The road ahead's going to be long, but I'm here to help. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want your help, pal. I am in your debt. Uh, am I? I didn't As really do anything. Who honors his debts and I'll see mine paid. I swear it by my ancient sword. About that. I heard it's fake. Sorry. I am in your debt. As blah blah blah. Shut up. Hello. I'm going back to Medulla. Are you? I hope we can meet again. Same. But you didn't really do anything. You didn't really return yet. You said I'm you are there. Unskilled, my lord, probably. But oddly, mm -hmm. you said this. Oh, it's hard. I guess I. I guess I better give him more stuff. I give you this. Um. This, this, and this. There you are. Have my very... His name is Goodbye. Uh-huh, you said that. I'm going. Goodbye. And I hope this sword is good. I don't really like the way it combos. We'll find out, I suppose. It does more. That's all I can really hope for. Maybe it just takes some getting used to. I'm not really used to swinging an anvil around. It is quite heavy, you know. Well, I mean, if I'm going to blend in with the dwarves, what better use than to use what they use? An anvil on a stick! Chained up, of course, but it is what it is. I think I'll be off. Thank you again for leveling me. Um, I did level, so can I wear anything heavier? I don't think I can. Hello. Maybe. Ooh, I can. I could wear this. Can't wear that. Yeah, we can wear this. It's better. Lovely, and now I have a crop top. Don't know why I have a crop top, but I do have a spine. At least my spine is covered. It would be scandalous otherwise. And then with that, I think this is actually a good spot for us to end today's episode of Dark Souls 2 Skull of the First Sin. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think of today's episode, of course. And if you're new to my channel or have been watching me for a little while and you haven't done so as of yet, Feel free to subscribe to me, Mad Squash 924 over on YouTube, and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified on my latest videos. On the next episode, we are going through this rat door, and we are going to take care of the boss that goes in that direction. Once we do, we will go return to this way, where um, we are supposed to go the proper path. Um, and I'm not so sure about this thing. Um, it says it's better stat-wise, which is great. I just... I don't know. I'm just not used to it, I guess. But it does more damage than the greatsword, which is good. Um, and it's only at what? Plus seven? Yeah, plus seven. And this is at plus eight. And it does less. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But I'll see you guys all in the next one. Goodbye!